Hi, my name's Mick Kenyon. Today I'm just going to do a tutorial on using the SEO tools or search engine optimization tools which are built within the Adobe Muse system. Uh, they're pretty basic um, and very important that, that you actually use them uh, so that the, the web content which you're publishing is then found and picked up by Google and all the other um, search engines out there, Bing, etc. Okay, so I've already laid out a, a page here so we don't have to watch me type all the time. So, um, But we'll go through some of the the basics and the, the way that you should lay out a page. And, and, and this is probably a, the ideal way you would lay out a page. Um, so first of all, what you need to do is add um, the header tag, which is the title uh, page tag of the page. And to do so... Um, you create something called a H1 tag. So to do this, you go into paragraph styles within the um, the side panel, the right-hand side panel there. And first of all, you highlight the, um, the text which you want to make into the H1 tag. And down at the bottom there, you, you will see something which says, create a new style from the attributes applied. So if you click on that, um, and it, it you'll have noticed it just produced this extra um, uh, script there which says paragraph style one. I'll do it again so if you watch that it'll go to paragraph style two. Can you see that? So um, so what you do is you double click on that and you can change the attributes then on here. So this has already been set as a H1 headline but I might want to change that down to a you know a different subhead or you know or even the paragraph styles. So this is how you change the, the type of the tag um, within the within the Adobe Muse. Uh, I'm just going to come out of that anyway. Um, we'll leave that as a headline tag and click OK. Um, I'm going to go back in, in and make sure it's on that one. If, if you wanted to redefine something at any point and you think, well, OK, then, you know, uh, we'll perhaps up the font on that and we'll have that as you know, 26 um, pixel uh, um, tag. So you can redefine that. You'll see that there's a plus sign now appeared next to the tag which I'd applied to it. And if you go down at the bottom there, there's um, a tag which says redefine selected style from the attributes applied. And we click on that and the plus sign has now disappeared. So if we were to use that header there and we wanted to use that as a H1 tag as well, we would click on that and it's now applied that as well to that one. We don't want to do that so I'm going to reverse that back and change it back to the H3 tag. So it's a real quick simple way of adding the tags. So first of all you set them up but then once you've set them up you can use them um, consistently throughout your pages. Um, and what do the tags do? Well H1 tag is as I said the, the page title tag um, and h2 tag is a subtitle from that and h3 tag is a sub subtitle so you might have your header tag say if we were talking about camping equipment your header h1 tag would be um, camping equipment header 2 tag might be something like tents and then header 3 tag would something which would go in a tent you know a sleeping bag and so um, it, it gives it a, a good structured way that you're telling Google of how to how to find things on your page. Okay, so um, so that's how you set up the H tags uh, H1, H2, H3, etc. So probably good practice or best practice is you would only have one H1 tag on a page, and this would usually be at the very top of the page. You might have numerous or, or a few H2 tags, um, and if it fits nicely, then you'll have H3 tags underneath that. So you could have numerous H2 tags and numerous H3 tags, but only ever one H1 tag. Okay, so that's um, one part of it. The other part is th there's a couple of uh, character styles which uh, Google also likes to look out for and that's uh, character strongs and character quotes or, or EMs and 
So to change those, it's a very similar way. Um, over on the right hand side, we, we, collect, we select character style. And again, we select the, um, the, the wording which we want to change. And we select um, create a new style from the attributes on the panel. And we can do that. And again, a new one uh, appeared there called character style one. So if we double click on that, and that one saying the character style, and we can change that to um, important, and that one is the, the character strong. Um, it actually says in, in, the, in the brackets at the side there. Okay. Um, so I'll just select that and I'll cancel that. And for the character quote one, um, this is the one again. It, it's actually showed as EM emphasis, and that's another good practice to use um, for SEO. Okay, so anything which you, uh, so if you're writing about camping again, you might want to occasionally um, put strong characters uh, reference uh, character string rather against the word camping, and that's how you would do so. And if somebody's giving you um, some nice reviews about your website, you might want to use character quote. Okay, so that covers off really the, the first two subjects, which is the paragraph styles and the character styles. And the next thing um, which I'll just quickly cover off is adding hyperlinks. And there's uh, a good practice and a bad practice about adding hyperlinks to your website. So again, what you would usually do is, a, a good example of, of a hyperlink is this, this blue one here. And the text actually says, example of a good SEO hyperlink. And that is com in contrast to a bad example below where bad example of an SEO link and then the only bit which is underlined or is the hyperlink is the word here. So that, that isn't telling Google anything. That's just uh, saying, there's a hyperlink here called here, whereas the one above actually says what the hyperlink is about. And so that, again, is best practice. Okay. Um, something which I've seen banded around in a few of the forums is also about alt tagging or, or image tagging. And so we've got um, a, a picture here of my border collie, uh, Jess. And if you click on the picture, and um, there's something in there called edit image properties and if you and when you click on there I've already added the text in there so the tooltip at the top which is a bit confusing by the words but um, tooltip is great because when you hover over the the image it actually says what the image is about when it's on a live site um, and it also tells Google what the image is about so in here I've got a border collie looking at toys and then I've got an alternative text in there which is explaining about uh, a little bit more detail about um, about the image in there. So it's a black and white border collie lying down on the floor looking at the toys. Um, and so one of the big things at the moment in Google is image searches. You'll find that out. And, and this is really the, the best way of getting images found on Google. And you'll find that people do an image search and they'll click on that image and it'll take them through to your website. So it's a good way of getting traffic there. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll close that out. Something else to, to mention on images is when you're uploading an image um, and, and naming an image, best practice again is not to leave it um, perhaps named as 123.jpg but to actually name the JPEG uh, what it's about. So in this case, it's a border collie looking at her toys dot JPEG uh, and name it that. Again, it's giving Google uh, or search engines a little bit more information about that image. And if you're using something like Photoshop in there, you can also add metadata into, into the image as well. And again, you can add a lot more tags in there. And it, it, again, I'm not sure that Google at the moment are, 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 are fully utilizing the meta tags within uh, the, the likes of Photoshop or Lightroom. But um, it, it certainly wouldn't surprise me if, if before long they are using it, if they're not already doing so. Okay, so that's uh, just uh, something about, about the images, etc. And the next thing which I'll, I'll quickly jump into is, is some of the page settings. 
So if we go into page along the top and we go into the page properties, um, when it first opens up, you'll probably have the tag open of layout. But along the top there, there's one called metadata. And the first one is the description. And uh, whatever you type into here is what will be shown against that page when it's shown on Google search. So it's the, the hook, if you like, to try and get people to, to click on that link through to your page so they view it. And below that is keywords. Um, keywords are not used by Google anymore. Um, some of the other search engines may still, still well use them. But as far as I'm aware, Google does not use keywords. You used to be able to cram in, you know, and put your competitors' websites in there and people then which were searching for, you know, Joe Bloggs' website design. Uh, if you type that in a keyword, it, it, you know, you'd be showing up against it. So that's probably the reason why they've dropped it. But it's still best practice to add keywords in there. Um, not sure how, how relevant they really are nowadays. Okay. And the next tab along is options. And when you, um, when you click in there, for a start, you'll probably have this the um, the tick in same as page name, and what that's saying is, when you you load up your page, it's just going to call it home. So it's a good idea to untick that and then give your page title something a little bit more descriptive. So this is what will actually show in the browser. So um, a, a good one which I've got in there is Mick Kenyon, and then again think of it kinetically. So Mick Kenyon, and I'm uh, talking about website design and I'm talking about best practice. In fact, I'm not, I'm talking about SEO best practice. So that's even better, we'll put that in there. Or we could have had best practice in another one, SEO. Uh, but that gives you the, the page title a little bit more description in there. And um, that's a, a probably about it, apart from you may want to add a favicon eye image but you're probably better off not doing that on the page but doing that via um, the site so you can go into the site properties there and when that loads up into advanced whoops sorry into layout I can't find it oh it's in content there and the favicon image and you can upload a square image there to be used as your favicon um, and what is a favicon? Well, up at the top there, we've got Facebook, which is the blue F, YouTube, which is the uh, the, the red rectangle with the, um, the forward arrow on it as well. Okay, so um, how can we test all this to, to make sure that it's um, looking okay? So if I load that into my browser, so Command, Shift, and E, and um, there's... An extension, if you're looking at this in, in Google Chrome, as I'm doing, um, you can add extensions in here. And there's one in here which I quite like, and it's called Mozbar. If you haven't got Mozbar on, uh, the way that you add an extension into Chrome is going to the three dots over at the far-hand side. And then there's one called More Tools. And if you click onto Extensions, that will load in the Chrome there. And then if you go down to the bottom and it says get more extensions, and then you can search for things uh, which are in there. And for this one, it's called Mozbar. So if you select Mozbar, and um, there it is. So you, 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 you click on it and, and activate it. I've already got it, so I don't need to do that. So we'll just rewind a little bit to the, the web page there. So, here it is, Mozbar. So when you click on Mozbar, it opens like this, and there's um, a little icon there which says Page Analysis, and um, it tells you what what you're doing right and what you're not doing right, really. Uh, so a great little tool. So it's saying the page title. Page title is Mick Kenyon Website Design SEO Best Practice. So if you recall, that was the last thing which I actually um, did to the to this um, site uh, through through page properties, um, we've got meta description, um, and so that was what I said would be shown up by the Google on in search uh, about this page illustrates best practice etc. 
meta keywords which we weren't which I'm not so sure is uh, used very much these days um, it is picking up a h1 tag which is this header h1 tag here it is picking up h2 tag which is that one there um, and it is picking up um, the character strong which is h1 tagging which is that one there which was done for, uh, via the, the character um, and it is you it is picking up um, em1 as well the italic em ones there which is the character quote italic for quotes and it is picking up the um, alt text which I added to the, the photo of, of Jess down here which is the black and white border collie lying down on the floor looking at toys so everything looks um, to be pretty much in, in, in place there and I guess the last thing is just to show you the, the, the hover over on the thing that you know it's, it's now come up here with border collie looking at toys which was done from the from the tool tips so um, yeah so that's really the, the basics of the SEO tools within Adobe Muse. Um, hope you found this useful and if you do so please do uh, subscribe to the, the YouTube channel. Thank you.